Amigos, what's up? Welcome to our channel, Atrocities Upon Cities, where you see progression of our everyday life. Today is Money Making Mondays, our famous triple M, where we believe setting the tone on Mondays will follow you throughout the week. So let's get started on this usual customer that we do once a week, and we've been here all year, but he pays us to go by once a week. Thanks. Amigos, what's up? Welcome again. Here we are in this house. You guys have seen maybe about three videos in them. You know, we had a, f a complete full cleanup in the front of it. And then we started progressing to the back. You know, everything was full of grass. There was dead trees. There was a lot of things. But every week we're here and we're here for a set rate. Instead of us doing it one time, he has us here paying us monthly. So we get a regular weekly rate. But we do fill up the trash cans every week. Come by, take them out. The trash can throws them away and they bring them back in you know but to this point right now we have been making piles and lots of piles so by now you'll see me rake all this stuff which is very dry in california that's why we have to, we are allowed to rake out here and i started with the regular spring rake or a hard rake and then i ended up using a different rake which we'll talk about once we get to that point thanks again Alright fella, so here I am trying to rake everything like always. Usually we rake everything to one side. We pick a side and start taking everything towards there. We make a pile and somebody always showed me to rake around you and not just rake everywhere, you know. So if you learn to rake, you'll always learn to move quickly too, you know. So I'm raking everything uniformly and it looks great. You know, all we have to do is rake. We don't have to weed whack. We don't we don't have to do any hula hoeing or shoveling or anything like that. It's just so dry. So check out a little hyperlapse here where I'm able to just go by this is a little slower and you're able to see the progression we've been making just by raking all we do is rake you know so you also have to rake fast if not there's no point of you trying to use the rake you can weed whack it but still have to rake it right here we have the pleasure of just strictly just going straight to raking which is awesome so sometimes these homes the longer you wait for those weeds I mean at one point they were green I think when we first got here they were barely starting to die but as the progression continues from the front to the back you know we can only do so much they only have two trash cans and that's what affects us sometimes and here we are just doing it you know cleaning away from the wall trying to get the piles away from the wall and just giving them a couple feet or if we make a pile against the wall we'll make sure that we take care of it all right guys so like always anytime i'm at any type of job when i'm usually working on it i'm not thinking about other things i'm usually thinking of how can i make this job a little faster how can we leave here sooner so while i was raking my life away i came to a conclusion that if i brought my landscape rake to the leveling one you know it's about three feet wide and it's a hard rake so it's going to be perfect it'd be like a little tractor since we don't have tractors of course if this guy spent a couple thousand on us we would clean it in one day but some customers don't want to do that some customers want to pay a little at a month you know and just go from there though we're actually more grateful that that situation is working out like that for him like that we don't have to come by and lose money you know all right guys so like always we have waste management out here and we're able to fill up his trash can with like six of our catchy can you guys all remember catchy can man this is to me one of the best inventions ever i don't need a dustpan i don't need anything like that the can does it all itself you know we just rake it in and just rake around push it forward we could just drag it forward you'll see right now how paola drags it forward perfect and then she keeps filling up you know we don't have to have a bag or anything like that of course it ripped from the bottom and we used duct tape for a couple more months i'm to use it till the freaking bottom wears off you know it's like they say till the wheels fall off but here's the area where we were raking you'll see that um, hyperlapse you'll see me show you a quick video of what it looked like before and then we'll head to the hyperlapse so thanks again amigos so here it is a, a, a slow walk of what it looked like before we raked most of it there's a couple piles right there look at this crazy area right here that's still left you know so this is why i was like no if i use a small rake i'll never finish i have to feel i have to make myself bigger you know so i was able to clean up all these trees nicely from the bottom and just work with it you know so here it is you see me with the rake back and forth man you saw how easy it was to pull them check it out now all i have to do is just drag them drag them drag them into a pile and there you go you know this cut me about two hours 
hours of raking, I'm sure, you know? Other than the fact that I'm fast when I'm doing things. You see Paola on the left side, I blew things towards the wall, and there you go, a quick walkthrough of what it looks like. I'm gonna run you to a quick video. This was what we did for today on our Triple M, Money Making Mondays, and here we go to a small irrigation job. All right, fella, so here it is. This is easy, you know, we cut the water, um, the old valve, it was a solar dig valve, and here it is, you see the old one, it was still leaking through, then we're gonna use this irrigation timer with the solar timer on there, you can see the old timer, it didn't work, so we had to take it off, and the brand new one, you can see me bend over and blow into the pipe right now, and for that reason, is the way the water comes back out, you have about five seconds after that, so the water doesn't come back up, since it's on a slope, all the water from inside the house comes back out, so it kind of hurts you, so you see me, here I go, I blow in and now I have like I said five seconds to put my glue and everything in but since I've done it forever I understand what it works like there you go I time everything perfectly by the time it's done I dry it I have my time to put it back together and boom there you have it you know so now that <clears throat> customer can just make sure that he fixes his timer when it's solar since it's solar these things come with no power you got to give it a day or two for it to um, get some power and then you're able to set it and tune it you know so really awesome valves the only thing is that I'm looking at they're only lasting about a year and then they start leaking so I don't know maybe they're gonna improve them as we go or they're gonna make them better and here we go, the end of the day, you know, uh, Money Making Mondays, like always, was a very good success. We come to the dump, dump everything, hoop these right there, being Batman again, small piles, Lancaster, California dump. We have about three dumps in our valley, so if people are dumping in the streets, man, it's pretty bad. We have a big dilemma with people dumping in the streets when we have three dumps in our valley. It's just people don't want to pay. You know, here, I don't even pay for the dump. I get the customer to get a voucher since he pays for trash. Every Everybody's entitled to two vouchers a year. So this is Mojave, California. Out here, they're still mining for gold. So it's kind of awesome. You know, I love stopping by and seeing the windmill farms or how they're doing the mining. The mining here, it looks like they separate the rocks and sell them at bulk yards or something. So it's awesome. I get a kick out of all the machinery that they use and all the explosions that they cause. So there you go. Thanks again for watching. Atrocities Upon Cities. Please follow us on Instagram. Atrocities Upon Cities. So there you go. Thanks a lot.